The Ole Miss Rebels have served up some of the best uh, defensive back play in college football over the past couple of years. Mark Rogers TV and SEC Breakdown looking over the Rebels uh, 2016 edition with John Luke McCord, who's helping us out from the Rebel Walk. Uh, John Luke, uh, let's talk about Tony Connor because uh, for the national fan, he kind of broke out into, onto the scene a couple years ago in 2014 when the Rebels really broke out and became one of the top 10 teams in the nation. Uh, Connor was a tear in that season, had to suffer some injuries last year, didn't quite put together the type campaign, but certainly Ole Miss fans happy to see him back in the fold this season. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Tony's a guy that it, really the last two seasons uh, he spent uh, hurt or with injuries at crucial times in the season. So he's a guy that was a part of that vaunted you know, 2013 class, was really the most local of the five-star prospects they signed from just down the road in Batesville. You can't get any closer than where he grew up to Ole Miss. So he's a guy that, that means a lot to the program, means a lot to people around Oxford. And so he, he could have been in this draft class with Tunzel and Robert Condici and Laquan Treble and those guys, but the last two years uh, he, that he spent hurt really hurt him and his draft stock and exposure in the big games he needed. But uh, that's all the better for Ole Miss as they get a, a big-time senior leader back in their secondary and he'll play back there around some young guys at safety this year. Now, obviously, when these teams go three and four wide, you need some uh, additional corners or safeties that can come down and play in the slot and match up at, in the secondary. But in terms of a base defense, you're, you're extremely set uh, at the cornerback position. Absolutely. And, and like you mentioned, you, you need those guys that can play the nickel corner against these spread offenses. And that's why Connor really is so valuable. He can get in the box, stop the run. He can cover guys in, in the slot. He can cover guys in the open field like a safety. But as far as cornerbacks, they really like their guys. They feel like they can play on an island. And that's junior Kendarius Webster. He's been around the program. He's been playing all three years. He's been there. Uh, he is their bell cow at corner. He's their main guy. Uh, he's very long, very physical. So he plays well in the box. He plays well in physical situations. But he's also got that length and the speed to run up the sidelines with the receivers. They can really get going. So uh, on the other end, they like Tony Bridges. He's a guy that's originally from Mississippi, Hattiesburg, went to Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College for two years. So he's a senior now, uh, and everybody remembers the big interception he had against Dak Prescott in the Egg Bowl. Uh, people expect a lot of him um, going into the season. They expect you know those two experienced guys to really lock down the edges. But behind those guys, you know, you got uh, a guy like Cameron Ordway who didn't redshirt last year as a freshman. He's got length for days, over six feet tall, and and they like him for a lot of the same reasons they like Webster. So he's a guy that's going to play behind those two guys as well. Kalo Moore, is a he was a four-star running back once upon a time from the Delta here in Mississippi. Uh, he's a corner now, and they like uh, his ability to, to maybe go on and play after the season, but they want him to give one more year at corner, and, and they hope that he has a big year doing so. So they've got some depth at the position. Carlos Davis is another guy that will provide depth, but more so a guy that helps them in the special team. So they like where they're at at corner, and that's good because uh, they're young and inexperienced at safety. Trey Elston and Mike Hilton, very familiar names to SEC fans. Uh, they move on the second and third ranked tacklers on this team from last season, and Hilton in particular, 12 and a half tackles for loss and six career picks. Uh, Elston had four interceptions last year. So if we look at safety, uh, not so certain there. Can you set us up for what the Rebels have in mind there and who's in the mix? Well, uh, and Mike Hilton truly is the reason that this defense was able to be as good as it was without the presence of Tony Conner the last few years. He provides a lot of the same type versatility, and, and he'll get a – I think even though he's a small guy, he'll get a good shot in the NFL. Same for Trey Elston. He's a guy that plays really physical. He'll have a shot in the NFL too. So they're really looking to, to replace those two guys. Cody Pruitt's a guy that moved on. Uh, even before last season. So the safety position is finally catching up to him a little bit as far as losing big-time contributors. Uh, C.J. Hampton is a guy that they're really, really leaning on this year. He's a junior, uh, was a huge battle. I'm sure it's fresh on a lot of Ole Miss fans' mind uh, right there in Meridian, uh, closer to Tuscaloosa than he is to Oxford, and they battled Alabama really hard for him. He's a guy that at times has shown that ability that he did uh, in the recruiting process to earn him so many offers. He just hasn't consistently been uh, what Ole Miss is expected to have in the back end of that defense, which is a veteran, uh, a physical, but also disciplined safety at the back end of that defense. And so they're hoping he can bring all that together, not only for himself this year, but help to bring it get together for this unit uh, in general. Uh, Zedrick Woods is a guy that, another one of those guys that did not redshirt last year. He'll be a sophomore. And uh, they're really moving him over from playing a lot of the Husky where Connor had not been at. So um, he, 
they could get Elston and Hilton and him on the field at the same time with with uh, Zedrick Woods playing Husky. He'll move back and play safety this year, but he's a guy that I really expect to um, provide a lot of what Hilton did. He's versatile, and he's just a guy that you'll look up and, and you'll see him all over the field uh, at any certain times. Uh, A.J. Moore and C.J. Moore, twins. Uh, these guys, Ole Miss fans know them. They're super fast. That's what they're known for, a lot of personality. Um, A.J.'s a guy that will back up Tony at, at Husky. He's very physical, plays like a linebacker, looks like a safety. That's uh, that's his M.O., and, and that's why he ends up there at the Husky spot. His, his brother, C.J., is a guy that's very fast, similar to him, plays more like a center fielder. So he'll be backing up C.J. Hampton there at the safety spot. Uh, another guy worth mentioning is um, – Armani Lynn. He's a guy that's six foot three, looks a lot like Cody Pruitt did from a few years ago, and they're really hoping to get a lot of the same uh, type qualities out of an Armani Linton, who's a Mississippi native, a guy they flipped from Mississippi State in the recruiting process. So uh, he's a guy they hope that they can return some of that Cody Pruitt to the back end of their defense with. Other than that, it's a bunch of young guys that have really played uh, all three, the two safety spots and the Husky spot uh, as far as this spring. We've got Greg Eisworth who's a true say, or true freshman, Miles Hartfield, who's a true freshman, and also Montreal Custis, who's a redshirt freshman. Each of those guys are names you should remember at the Husky and safety spots as uh, they'll be able to play all three of those positions because they haven't really found a home yet for those guys. All right, the Ole Miss Rebels tested in the non-conference opener, unlike probably – any time in recent memory with a date against Florida State, uh, the defense will be tested, of course, by Dalvin Cook and a lot of speed on the outside from the Seminoles, uh, regardless of who starts a quarterback, most likely Sean McGuire. John and Luke McCord helping us uh, break it down from the Rebel Walk. We appreciate it. Thank you.